Hi, I'm Wally with Darkroom Software. I want to talk to you just a little bit today about troubleshooting and tech support and how to take full advantage of Darkroom Software's world-class tech support. I'm really proud of our tech support department. Most calls are returned within an hour or less and we really take care of our customers when it comes to tech support. So first of all, when it comes to problems, sooner or later you're going to have a problem and you're going to need some help. Now, if you just have a question or how a setting works or something like that, Facebook and things like that are a great option. But sooner or later, if you have a problem, you're going to need some real help, go to the source. Nobody knows the software better than the people who wrote the software and the people who use it every day. And that's Darkroom Software's tech support folks. So always, first stop should be email support at darkroomsoftware.com. That's going to be your best bet to get help and get it fast. Now I know we don't offer support on weekends. Neither does any other software company like that. But we all have a soft spot for people who are having a problem in need. So most of the time we monitor those software, uh, those uh, emails for uh, emergencies and things like that. Now, if you don't have a gig for three weeks, let us know and we'll let you wait till Monday. But if you're in an emergency situation and you're at a gig and you need help right now, let us know that as well. Okay. Second, know your gear. A lot of valuable time is wasted because people don't know what version of Windows they have. They don't know what version of the software they're on. Sometimes they don't even know what brand of camera or printer they have. So sometimes we'll spend four or five emails exchanging back and forth just trying to find out those simple answers. So know your gear. If you're a photo booth owner and you have people going out as attendants, give them some sort of a little card with all that details on it so that they know how to get in touch with people, email at darkroomsoftware.com, and also answers to questions like what sort of uh, Windows version you have, what software version of Darkroom Booth you have, what printer you have, what camera you have. Next, let's, it's always a good plan to have spare gear. Now, if you've been around very much and you've listened to me very much, you've heard me tell you about backup equipment and how imperative it is to have backup equipment. And that's true. I know everybody can't afford to have maybe a second Surface Pro or maybe a second uh, you know, Canon T6i or something like that, but everybody can afford to have a few extra USB cables and most problems are caused by poor cable connections. So have a few extra printer cables, a few extra camera cables on hand. You can get those for just four or five bucks a piece on Amazon.com. I used to keep them and, yeah, and uh, buy them by the dozens and keep them in my camera case. So keep those around, keep them handy. Another thing is train your employees so they know how to deal with problems and how to contact support. A lot of time is wasted many times because the attendant will contact the owner, owner will contact us, we'll ask a question, owner has to call back to the attendant, ask them that question, and then call back to us. And so this exchange back and forth really wastes a lot of time. It's quicker if they just contact us directly and know the answers to all those questions. Last, be honest with us. If you uh, downloaded that little Hello Kitty graphic that your customer wants and you add it to a template and then suddenly you start having all sorts of crashes and things like that, be honest and tell us. This is what I did just before all of this started. If you, uh, you know, go in and delete a bunch of files off of your computer to make extra space and you do that outside of Darkroom and then suddenly Darkroom starts acting erratic and everything, let us know that. We're going to find that out eventually. We're not your mama. We're not going to ground you or send you to your room without dinner. But it will help us help you and get you back in operation quicker if we don't have to figure that out. So basically, go to the source, email darkroomsoftware.com. We can help you the best. Second, know your gear, what version of Windows, what printer, what camera, and what uh, version of Darkroom booth you have. Next. Always have a few extra camera cables. It's very disappointing to say, I think you have a camera cable problem and they go, well, I'll have to buy one next week. Have one with you, they're five bucks. Last, train your employees and be honest with us. Happy boothing.